Hi guys, it's Hazel and welcome to my channel. It is day 65 of the 100 day project. This too will be a bit of a strange video, I guess, but maybe useful. <laughs> At least that's my hope. We, um, I am certainly old enough to remember when things were built, built better where, you know, major appliances lasted for decades and so on. And I don't want to turn into a curmudgeonly old lady, cranky old woman, <clears throat> but um, I don't believe that I'm the only one out there believing that. So this was a clock that hung in our kitchen, whoops, uh, for several years. I don't remember what I paid for it. It's all it's all plastic. But the part that was unique about this one is that by itself, <laughs> it knew when daylight saving time was both starting and ending. And it adjusted itself accordingly. It wasn't the most accurate clock in the world. It, it seemed to gain time. And periodically when it would annoy me, I would, you know take it down and turn it back five minutes or whatever had accumulated. Anyway, the other day, I guess it gave up the ghost and luckily we had another one, not such a fancy dancy one, mind you, to replace it. So I thought, well, I could chuck it out or I could open her up. And basically I started doing that. I, I was, you know, I got, you know, a fair ways along. And then I realized, well, maybe that's something that you would like to see. Because maybe there is something here that we can use in our, in our work as crafters. I'm just trying to reach for my tiny little wire cutters. Getting everything but. Whoa. Um... <coughs> Sorry for the rattling and the delay. Maybe I should reach for my... Well, that's not them either. What the heck? <laughs> well, of course they're the last thing I reach for. Um, okay. So, basically... What I did, and I just have this little pewter dish here to, you know, collect some of the things, the screws, and I also discovered that I need these tiny little uh, screwdrivers. Anyway, what I did, I got the back off by unscrewing these things, and then I was able to separate um, this actual timepiece from the rest of it. And I guess this is the part that must have been keeping track of the time zones or whatever. So I had just snipped those wires. Now let me cut these off as well. Because who knows, maybe somebody needs a piece of black or red wire in one of their projects. So there's that. And I think in cases like this, oh, very tiny little um, Phillips. This is probably too, I didn't realize that this was that tiny. I'll see what might be better. I think it's doing something. But the, those screws are so tiny. I'll try loosening a couple more. And if I have to quit this particular area and move on to something else, I will. Now, I do have a better, I mean, these are more a novelty than anything, sort of a keychain type thing. And, of course, they're not the greatest thing either. And they're slightly too big for the screw. Um, just one small second. If I can reach my better set of 
miniature. I thought I was ready for the video. Oh, here they are. I don't think I have a Phillips that is tiny enough. This is a little bit better a set. But I, 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 unless this teeny tiny one will work. Ah, success. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. So, okay, what could we do with a tiny little screw like that? Well, maybe that's something to embed under uh, some glossy accents. Okay, so there are four of these. And I believe, I hope I'm not wrong in this, that this little green thing is kind of like a circuit board. What does that mean? I don't know. Unless for lack of a, lack of, for lack of clarity or, or, oh, so I, oh, here's another one. No wonder I can't lift it. Oh, and another one. Anyway, in the past, I have saved circuit boards from other things. I can't really say that I've ever used them, but that doesn't mean that was, that was prior to uh, junk journaling days. Sorry, if I would have realized there were all these little screws, I would have done this before I turned on the thing because I was determined to keep the video short. I think this is finally the last one. But those screws, they're so cute. I've never done a shaker thing, but that could be cute in there. Okay, so you see now that this lifts out. Oh, so that is a battery. Well, we want to get rid of that because, you know, batteries like to corrode and so on. No idea what this is. But again, uh, when, I, when I'm feeling kind of dumb in a science kind of way, I just remind myself that I don't need to know how a microwave works in order to use it. So I don't need to know how this works in order to abuse the clock. Anyway, I'm going to set this aside. Now, uh, another thing, another good thing about wire. Okay, have we gotten everything out of here that we can possibly use? Oh, see that? I don't know what that is. This is, this would have been the battery compartment from... Um, You know, the back of the... Well, here's another little screw. Oh, this is... This would have been the... Can you see what I'm doing? This would have been the thing that covered that... Would have been the access point to the battery. Oh, so that... Okay, maybe that explains why it was... So that would have been to this flat battery. This would have been, you know, to the one that keeps the hand, whoops, the hands turning around. Okay, I'm not going to fool around with that anymore. Um, that is maybe all that's salvageable here. This would just be the battery compartment. So let me get rid of that. Um, the other thing with wire... And I can I do this without stripping it? I mean, I want to strip it. Can I do it without? This isn't the proper tool, but you know that, or I guess maybe you don't, but wire uh, typically has a copper, there's copper wire going through. And the reason I was reminded of that is over here, those little bits came off and you can see the, the little multi-strand copper wire. Now this, obviously because everything is so miniature here, this is not going to be a, a huge um, 
you know, a gigantic uh, there. So, like, real electricians have tools, and I bet you my husband does, but maybe not for wire this tiny, that basically have a, a series of holes in them, and you just, you find the right hole for the thickness of the wire, and it basically just peels this co this plastic coating off and leaves the wire behind. So I love copper, and those would be fine little wires that could be worked into something. So I will set this aside and pursue it, um, pursue that later. Now, there was this piece of glass. Now, you know, it's typically we... Um, there is a danger with untempered glass. You know, if I were to drop something on this, it would shatter and I'd probably cut myself. However, uh, and I think I've said this in past videos, but I'll just repeat it. Uh, you know those, uh, well, they're cutting boards. They usually have a pebbled surface and they have a smooth side and they have little rubber feet that keep it from, you know, sliding on your counter or whatever. So I have used the, I've turned it upside down and used the smooth side as just um, a palette for, you know, mixing paint or whatever. So I would think that this glass, just from a safety perspective, should either be, you know, maybe wrapped off, wrapped up and disposed off properly, or, um, um, what am I trying to say here? Or, you know, maybe you have a, 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 a safe place to store things like that in case you need one for um, a replacement picture frame or something like that. But for now, I'm just going to set that aside. I don't know what these are. They're little plastic things. So, okay, what else? So this is the actual clock mechanism. Oh, and I see that there are two more. Oh, I need my little screwdriver. Oh, maybe this guy will work. It's so poor, though. It's so such pathetic crap. Um, maybe I'll use one of these. This is better. It's a Phillips. Oh, got to put some muscle into this. Okay, there we go. I, I'm not sure how much you can see black on black, but anyway, um, I'm sure you've used a screwdriver, so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, come on. Now already I can see that if I can save that little dial there, the one that you use for setting the time, um, you know, that would probably be a cute little embellishment on something. Okay, what's holding it now? Oh, I forgot about the most interesting part. This, I was able to get this plastic thing off. I, again, I don't know, does, does a person need it to draw a big circle somewhere? I don't know setting it aside. But what uh, what really intrigued me is the clock face because it's numbers. Now I can see what would be the best thing to use here. Maybe my little spatula. I can see the edge here and what I'm hoping is that this paper is not actually glued down. However, this is all connected to this back part. Now, I wonder, can I? I'm not opposed to smashing stuff, you know. In fact, sometimes that's the best feeling in the world. This, this little thing here on the side makes me feel like it should snap open. Because again, what good is this if you can't get in there and... I don't want to bend these hands. Can you see there's that space there? 
Oh, just jiggled. Okay, so I've got those. And of course, these are just plastic as well. Those hands could be used, you know, on something. Okay, this came off. This was kind of like a spindle thing here. Oh, and that little disc comes off. Now again, see if you've if you've taken a few things apart in your day. Um, let's get a better screwdriver. Sometimes you and again, I'm sorry this is all black, but when you see something like this, this little part here is being held in place by this. So I'm thinking that if I lift, this, and again, it, it makes, you know, it helps that I don't care if I break something. I mean, obviously, a person would have to work a little more carefully, a little more, be a little more, you know, go gingerly. And of course, there's another one on this side. Oh, did that one snap back into place? Yes, she did. Um, of course, if I was opening this up because I was a, maybe a clock repair person or something, that would be a different story. But I don't care if I break anything. Okay, so there's a th there's something else holding it. It's binding. Maybe if I get at it from here. We have success. I can't see any use for this. But look at, there are more gears in here. Oh, that one is so cute. Now, I took apart, what the heck was it? I have something else with a bunch of gears. Now, of course, these little, um, see that little, I want to call it a spindle, but it's not really a spindle. Those things could easily, why don't I just cut it off? I was going to say maybe I shouldn't because who knows where I want to use it. But did that hit you in the eye? Um, with these things, well, a little bit pokey there. With these things gone, a person, of course, can, you know, glue it down flatter to the, to the paper. Now, I'm not sure what's holding this in place. I'll just press down. You know, maybe on something like this, a person would be better off just snipping it off there and not waste too much more time. I could also just try to wiggle it out of there. Now, I, oh, I could try and see if it works. That thing is sure stuck in there. Let's just see. If these little plastic pieces will take color. Um. Oh yeah, that's just using what was left on the brush. This is rusty hinge. So clearly to have it be more visible on whatever, that ink will work. Now that my hands are dirty. Okay, what else have we got here? We've got a little bit more wire. Cut those off, add it to our collection over here. I love this little copper spool. What is holding all this in place? Now there are these things. Whoa.
I should have maybe just tried to pry this. Oh, yeah, look at that. More gears. Again, you know how... And that would be garbage as far as I'm concerned. How useful this is will depend on... Okay, this thing flew off. That looks like it's extruded and made all in one piece. So, again, you'd have to either very carefully... I should have taken the dried glue off my fingers. You could either very carefully... I might need my bigger... I'm going to just see if I can sort of... See what I'm trying to do there? I'm just trying to cut that... <laughs> I'm trying to shoot it across the room. I'm trying to cut this thing off here. I don't want to pinch myself. Where did it fly to now? Oops, I saved it. Anyway, you get the idea. I'm not going to, to do any more of this. I do want to get to that clock face, and I want to let you go. So that looks like a blob of glue on there. Now, what is holding this onto here? Another little circuit board. Oops. Okay, that was just plastic. You know, back in the day, circuit boards, I believe, were made of metal. Looks like I can get my... Or I hope I can get my little... I thought I saw space there. Okay, I'm in. But there's still something binding on it. Okay, that is... Okay, sometimes you, you sacrifice something to get something else. Now do I... To me, that looks like a little spool. I'm trying to get at that glue that's on there. Um, looks like a little spool of thread. Look how tiny that wire is. I shouldn't have disturbed it. That... That is thinner than a hair. Thinner than a hair. That glue was probably keeping the the uh, the wire from unraveling. Okay, so let me cut this stuff off here. Oh. Uh, or can I just break it off? Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, look, it came right off. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Okay, that's one of the good things. This, I think, because I cracked it, is garbage. Okay, so obviously... There are several pieces that got saved and can be um, used. Oh, let's try get that clock face. Will it just fall off? No, it won't. You can see what's going to happen here, can't you? I'm going to try to lift it and then find it's glued and will probably damage it in the process. Maybe I should use something wider so I don't get those little poke marks. Oh, 
Can you, oh, can you see my little pokey thing? Mind you, maybe it's releasing the glue. It hasn't broken through yet. But if I keep at it, I'm sure I could tear through the paper. I just want to be able to grab, grab. Are you guys keeping your fingers crossed at home? Now this is thicker than, oh, it's two-sided tape. So, should I be heating up my, my um, heat gun? Or should I just do it the hard way and wreck it? Voting begins now. Oh, they just used small bits. Oh, and that was... Okay, success is within my grasp. Hmm. Oh, I just put a crease in it. Success. I wish I wouldn't have that crease in there, but I did it. Those plastic bits will go. I may try to use my this thing to get this off so it doesn't stick to something else and ruin it. I don't need, to, you don't need to watch that. This might just ball up and... Why is that skidding right over? Anyway. I would say I consider this a success. I have a clock face. I have three hands. I've got this cute little guy, this circuit board. Now I would have to Here's another little piece of wire. I think that it like if a person was sort of doing a techie manly technology thing that a person would you know like maybe this could be on a journal cover because there's some depth there or do I try to get in there and break that off mind you that metal thing It could I could end up ruining this because the chances are yeah that's plastic I could crack this piece like I did the other so maybe I'm not going to worry about that just yet because at this point oh okay at this point I don't really have a plan for this 
I just thought, you know, instead of just throwing uh, the baby out with the bath water, I would see what I could salvage. And of course, you know, it could be that I've gone through this trouble. I will then find a place to store this, never to revisit again. So we know that that could very easily happen. However, maybe out there in YouTube land, maybe somebody was thinking, boy, if only I had an oversized clock face. So I will stop here. Um, I think the pickings were pretty good. Again, little gears. We know that the plastic will take color. And I'm not sure what all this is, but I think that's probably garbage. Mind you, this looks like it's being protected in some way. Anyway, plus, of course, those cute little screws. Is this magnetized? Um, cute, cute. And don't forget the copper that is in the, the uh, in any coated wire. Um, thank you so much for joining me. If you found this um, helpful, uh, off the wall, can't believe your eyes, uh, maybe that warrants a thumbs up. And certainly I would hope that you would subscribe as well because who knows what the next video might entail. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Be well, go create something, and uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye.